Greetings folks, the man here, and we are back in the greatest series on the planet. This is 100 Days in Alex's Mobs, Part 6. Now, now, here's the formalities. I always hate to do this. I always hate to say this over and over and over again. But all the you how to YouTube YouTubers, YouTube channels told me to do this. So, well, here it goes. Subscribe. Can you see that red button? Click the red button. <laughs> so the so notifications and other other things like that. Given to my gluttony for clout. But now that that's out of the way, I hope you enjoy this. <laughs> the preparations to once and for all destroy the Ender Dragon were underway. Step one of today, make a brewing stand. Take it to the marketplace, put it down, and just hope one of the villagers decides to be a cleric. It took a bit of time, I had to break it a couple times, but thankfully one, one of the guys decided he wanted to step up for the country and become a cleric. Now I need the cleric because when I level him up, he'll eventually trade me ender pearls. And just buying them from some guy in my country would be just much much easier than going into the nether, finding a warp biome, it'd just be a huge massive hassle that I avoided. Instead of all that, I just, I just harassed this man, just forced him to trade with me at any hour of the day, even woke him up from sleep a couple times. But after a couple days of borderline unnecessary economic exchange, he finally became ready to trade me a couple ender pearls. Even though they were now available on the market, I didn't have enough emeralds to buy them, so what I did is I went ahead and made some looms. Now, after you make looms, you get some wool guys with which you can trade wool, which I had plenty of since I built a big sheep farm in the last episode, which you should watch if you haven't watched it. I also realized that I had a bar of netherite and an amending book lying around, so I quickly made a diamond axe, slapped some netherite on there, and slapped some mending on there as well, so now I have a complete tool set. Who needs a hole or a shovel? Those things are useless. After that, I went ahead and exposed all my sheep to the natural elements, took that wool, took it to the wool guys, and turned it into cold, hard green. A couple hours of grinding, and bam, I had just enough emeralds to scrap together about 12 ender pearls as a minimum amount you need. Which actually at first I was pretty paranoid about because I thought I was gonna run out, they were gonna break, but actually I was pretty lucky later in the video, none of them broke. This is spoiler, but still it's important. You people worry. Then it, it was pretty on him and full for some time. Oh yeah, that, that, but then I fought a demon, there was this like weird blue dude in a cloak. Also two spiders, this is a nasty situation. I think I got bit. But I'm not sure if it was the spider or the demon that bit me. Really could be either. Then I got a banner from uh, one of the previous episodes where I raided like a weird piglin structure and I put it on a shield and I look great and I just, this shot is just beautiful of me just standing against the sunrise. I, I love the colors, that soft orange glow, like the cyan sky, ooh it looks so nice. Then I realized I had to do something real important, I made a little paddock for a special someone, probably one of the greatest easter eggs in this mod and also probably one of the greatest cartoon characters of all time. Parry the platypus himself has joined our world. Too bad he's just a platypus. They don't do much. I built up his paddock a little bit more and I just spent some time playing with him. Look at how goddamn cute he is. It's just adorable. Look at his little beak and his little orange tail. It's just... I did wonder what he would do when I was gone on my great adventure. It's probably just nothing. Right then, that was me cracking my knuckles by the way. And now it's time to go on a great quest, but before I began, I quickly prayed to Mike the Messiah for good luck. Remember that, he is quite important to this one, remember his name, repeat it a few times, you'll get good luck. And just like that, 
I tossed the first eye offender into the sky and it led the way straight to some weird mushrooms. Yeah. But then I quickly had to forget about the mushrooms. They were not important at this point in time. I was about to have the rematch of a lifetime. The goddamn crocodiles were back. I had achieved victory, I felt so strong, I thought I could take another one. You know, wrestling crocodiles really, really isn't my thing. I really should stop, stop doing that over and over again. I mean, if I got a diamond every time I fought a crocodile on this show, yeah, I'd have only two diamonds, but it's still weird that's happened twice. Then I did a lot of walking. I found this weird little pathetic well, it had like one piece of iron. It's not really worth my time, I jumped in it though anyways, I don't know why. Then I just did more walking and I found this new different biome. And you might want to take it in right now because this mod gets removed because it was lagging me out big time. <laughs> I did get a pop flower out of it though. I mean the flower has gone now, the mod is gone too. And yeah, then I crossed the desert. Just a whole entire desert, it was painful. Remember when I told you that that mod was lagging me out? It's it's one of the dungeons mods, and yeah, look what's happening. It's horrible. Then I found this. It's called a big stone ground. And uh, it's not very big. Then comes more walking, and then a the pig. Yeah, I found this weird treasure pig. I'm pretty sure they're like they're like loot chests in the dungeons mod. This one didn't have any loot or just anything at all. It's it's just a sad pig. I mean, I hunted it just to see if it would drop something cool at least. I thought it would be like diamonds and weapons and stuff. Nothing. Then I went into this hobbit hole which I found. Which <laughs> not that I'm looking back, that's a weird series of events to happen in just like a span of five minutes. I didn't know what was happening. I just kind of I just kind of tossed the pork chop on the ground in the hobbit hole and I just I just walked away. Then now you won't believe this. I've kept this part in for this specific reason. I walked some more and the biome was like weird. It had like a little bit of a little bit of normal biome going through it and then there was like more of this weird teal biome. And guess what I found there? Another pig. It, it was another pig. Now I'm afraid that this pig's father is the one that I have thrown willy nilly into the hobbit hole. I'm, I'm, I don't want him to come back for revenge. So I didn't anger him right now. I just I kind of treated him peacefully. And then I realized you can open open the chest on his back. And I thought I would have stuff, but I didn't, didn't have stuff either. So I put all my garbage in there. Right, pigs with chests on their back taken care of. I walked off again. Oh my god, there's so much walking. Here's the thing, there's so much walking I've put into this video so that you get a you get a grasp on the idea of how much I had to walk for this video. This stronghold is thousands of blocks away. I mean I, I destroyed a orange cow and then my bed refused to appear. And this mod it's the mod had to go. It was just too laggy. Now here here's a special time. I removed the dungeons mod, but the structure had spawned anyways. So I went in there. There's some really good stuff. I had a cake and I'm just gonna let you watch this footage of me mining up all this gold. But here's the special bit. There was a zombie there, clad in full gold. And I'd found gold just then. And gold is associated with the messiah himself. Mike the messiah. Now the story of Mike is as old as time. They said that in an ancient civilization, one of the first man had ever created, they found one of him, a zombie clad in full gold, and they performed the sacred ceremony to keep the zombie under the surface of water until he transformed. And if the zombie retained his golden armor, well then he would be a projection of the mighty Mike himself. So I performed the ceremony. I kept the zombie under the surface of the water Testing if the Lord himself 
swam in front of my mortal eyes, and then it happened. I could not believe it. Mike himself appeared to me. This blessing, this omen, this incredible event could not have come at a better time than when I was at a quest to defeat the dragon. This, I, I collected the holy water, I prayed. Oh my god, the chance of this happening, hail to him, join the religion. Hit subscribe. <laughs> but after all that walking and mystical heavenly events, Emily and I decided to go underground. And so I dug a hole, like a dwarf. That, that's just, it's just me digging the hole. But I finally made it to the, to the stronghold, sick place. I just started, huge also, I just started walking around it, found this cool little cave. I say little because that's just, that's just how I speak. It was, it was massive, it was huge, and it's sick. Take a look at it. Also found a library, pretty cool books, and they have like a different item texture, which I found different. I know what mod adds that, comment down below. Then when I was just collecting a bit of loot, I thought I was just being a little bit silly. I fell through the hole. I thought I was whatever. <laughs> the man being a dummy fell, fell in the hole. But there were bugs. There were nasty bugs. Disgusting. And disgustingly massive. The size of my foot with their weird little legs going all... Yeah, you don't like that, do you? That's that's what I had to feel. By the way, I'm, so, I'm sorry for that. For doing the bug thing. I know, it's like pain ASMR. It's like a reverse ASMR. But, but guys, I'm gonna have to be real with you. I wasn't able to find the portal in this episode. So for now, I'm going to be signing off. But be assured that next week, I will be back with another episode of this series, where we will. And I assure you, with every atom of my being, we will defeat the Ender Dragon. But on that note, guys, I hope you've liked, I hope you've commented, and I hope you've subscribed. A goodbye. Leave no